I empathize. It's a tough time for everyone because money's tight and inflation's high. After Calgary City Council approved a new budget adjustment on Wednesday to increase property taxes for homeowners to 7.8% in 2024, many homeowners are concerned about what this means for them. Moving forward, the average Calgary property owner will see an additional $16 a month disappear from their wallets starting next year. Until wages come along with what we're paying out for taxes, groceries, all of that stuff, it, $16 is a lot, right? We can't, we still have to justify that $16. It's a lot out of our pockets when most of us don't have that extra $16 to spend as it is. Council also approved shifting the city's tax burden further away from business owners to residential homeowners. Well, I don't really agree with it at all, actually. I don't think it's necessary at this time. It depends on your uh, yearly income, obviously. And if you have on a fixed income, you know, it can add up. This represents a 1% increase to the residential property tax share for the next three years, eventually creating a 55 to 45% split between homeowners and businesses. It's difficult for everybody, I think, but if the business community in Calgary continues to struggle to operate business, uh, in part as a result of property taxes, then it's just going to get worse for everyone. This is welcome news for small businesses who look to alleviate some of their expenses. Without the tax shift, businesses would have seen their property taxes go up by 5.4%, so obviously significantly larger than $3,000. So again, it is a cost relief measure. It's, it's an ability, I think, in many ways for businesses to breathe. Senia says since the pandemic, small businesses have struggled with high energy costs and high interest rates, taking on debt to keep operations running. And as good as this first step is, more needs to be done maybe that is extending it to 2%. Um, in many, many regards, other business organizations like the Chamber of Commerce have also said, you know, there, there are multiple things that need to be done. And it's not the responsibility not only lies with, with the city of Calgary, it relies on the provincial government, it relies on the federal government. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.